Hi, I'm Erica Mendez, and I play Gon in Hunter x Hunter Phantom Rouge. Damn! How the hell did he come back to life? I have no idea, but if he's the one behind Kurapika's eyes, he's our target. Yeah. I was. I feel like the episodes are kind of like mini movies in themselves, but like with this actual movie, you don't get like all the cliffhangers that are in the series. So it's really cool to like have this sort of this movie that kind of takes place in between uh, an arc of the series, but you get to see like different characters and also the same characters. So it's just really neat to to see them kind of expand on what has already kind of been out there for the series. Oh, just anything that has to really, I feel like I'm gonna talk about this a lot <laughs> during this, but like anything that has to do with friendship, like when you see Gon really caring about his friends and like, you know, he fights for his friends basically. And uh, um, he his anger level kind of rises based off that. Cause normally he's like, you know, I'm, I'm Gon, I'm like super happy and everything. But then you mess with his friends and he's like, uh-uh. And any moment where that takes place, that's, I think you really get a sense of who Gon is. I feel like part of it is that he was born just kind of with that disposition because, I mean, you know, he, his dad basically left him when he was young and he was stuck living with his aunt. Not that his aunt was like an awful person or anything, like I think he had a good life, but the fact that he never once thought that his dad left him for like selfish reasons and was always like, yeah, I'm gonna go find my dad because my dad's great. Um, and he just kind of carries that on with him even despite everything that happened, like so many bad things happen and he still finds that silver lining, I feel like. Um, but I think, like, kind of like I said, uh, keeping friendship in mind is, is a very important part of his character and what kind of keeps him grounded and whole. Oh yeah, um, I was kind of hoping for maybe a little bit romance, uh, personally, um, just because I think, you know, again, Kilua is, is kind of the only one there for him, and well, you know, I, know, I guess pe some people have certain preferences, but um, I think I think Rhett's is adorable, so I totally would have liked to have seen them go on a little date, um, but I think it was definitely an interesting dynamic, because they're not really around girls too often, so it's... I think it, it brought a little bit more to their team, and maybe you get to see Kilo's jealous side a little bit, which is really funny. But yeah. And besides that, I don't care if I get betrayed by you. Uh, huh? Ditch me all you want. I'll still trust you. Oh. No, I think I think he would just totally share everything like I think Kilo is just Kilo is honestly the best friend he's ever had um ever and uh almost brother like in a way and yeah okay maybe you don't share some things with your siblings but I yeah I can't think of of anything I think Gon is just just all out there for Kilo like he'd do anything for that kid so creepy um I probably like a 15 at least I still to this day like am terrified whenever he comes up in sessions um you can even ask you know the director tony oliver anytime he does something like remotely creepy i'm like Ooh, i just can't, i can't do i also just don't really like clowns i'm not terrified of them but i just i can't get over i love the character though i think he's amazing he's one of the characters you just love to hate but i just he's the creepiest thing Oh, um, well, I'm, I'm pretty good at, at finding my boyfriend's phone and wallet when he loses them. So, uh, at least in that aspect, maybe like, I'll be generous and give myself a six. But when it comes to finding my own stuff, like sometimes I'll, I'll be like, where are my glasses? When I'm in the shower and I'm like, oh, they're on my face. Of course they are. <laughs> Do stuff like that. Or like, where's my fork? Oh, it's in my hand. <laughs> but, um... I have my moments, I think, where I, I can track things down pretty well, but most of the time it's, it, I'm probably like a four. You came, but how did you find me? I just tracked your scent. It was pretty easy. Could have been easier without the rain, though. Yeah, thanks for just 
supporting Hunter Hunter and, you know, it's gotten this far and I was it's kind of scary doing a series that's been around for so long and like suddenly dubbing it, you know, what is it, seven years after it initially came out. But I'm really glad everyone's been been very receptive of it. And anytime I go to conventions, people just tell me how much they love Gone and how much they really love the cast. And just keep keep loving Hunter Hunter and, you know, hopefully we'll we'll see more.